Hey guys, we're flying non-stop from San Francisco to Singapore. The estimated flight time is 17 and a half hours. In case you're curious, we're flying economy on Singapore Airlines. It's a packed plane. I chose a seat all the way in the back, next to the aisle and near the restroom. Flight attendants approach with a tray of warm, wet towels. Let's peep inside Singapore Airlines travel magazine. Mmm, food. Mmm, Singapore boutique. Mmm, beach. Burr, snow. I brought this neck pillow with me, but it ended up being more comfortable without it. Let's take a look at the movie selection. Pirates of the Caribbean! The mummy, the new one! So pumped for this flick. Dead men tell no tales. Of course, that's how Jack Sparrow makes his grand entrance. Pause. What are we eating during this long flight? The menu looks celebratory. I'm guessing it's Singapore Airlines 70th anniversary. Lunch choices are pan-fried chicken or fried fish. As for dinner options, pan-seared fish fillet or wok fried chicken. We were given a zippered bag containing socks, toothbrush, and toothpaste. Dear feet. Freedom! All my meals on this flight will be Muslim, meaning no alcohol, pork, pig byproducts, ham or bacon is used in the preparation of these meals. No, I'm not religious, and yes, you'll need to request specific meals online before boarding the flight. I'm not well versed in this cuisine, so allow me to make my best guesses on the dishes and ingredients. Chickpea with raw red onion and tomato, raisins, and not just any kind of dried grape, the raisins that climbed Mount Everest. I'm pretty sure this is naan. Those dark spots remind me of pepperoni pizza. I'm going to marry the naan with a yogurt. Is that normal? This yogurt is awesome. Thick and plain without added sugar. Turbulence turns eating into a game. How many chickpeas can I deliver into my mouth before dropping any? Here's a crew of four chickpeas, a pile of seven more in round two. The entree also contains chickpea, except they are red-orange. What's inside the small containers? <sighs> Smells like A1 sauce. Now let's sniff the other one. Reminds me of salsa verde. Couscous, asparagus, broccoli, and chicken with a slice of lemon. The chicken looks inviting. Let's RSVP ASAP. Just admire those thick layers. Whoa! Juicy! Shall we try the naan with the sauce? Passionately sweet with medium spiciness. The time has come to become one with the couscous. Sponge-like. It's a cute texture. The first set of chickpea we tried are chilled and taste like spring. The orange red chickpea are spicy and more like summer. One precious broccoli. Better not drop it. Delivery success. And then dessert. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Turbulence feels a bit like riding bumper cars. Ah, the official dessert has arrived. It's an It's It ice cream from San Francisco. Take a bite and you discover this is not just a chocolate covered ice cream. Two cookies are hugging the ice cream as well. Sad that this movie is over, but thrilled for the next one. Tom Cruise, what do you eat? You never seem to age. 11 more hours until touchdown. Batman and Superman, sounds promising. But let's take a break from all the special effects and watch something depressing. What would you do if a kid told you they were the reincarnation of your dead significant other? Nicole Kidman believed the kid and fell in love. On to our second Muslim meal. This time, we dine with dim delighting. Is it just me or is this falafel? The texture. It's as dry as my eye. Time for more naan. This side dish. It seems to be made of beet. It may look shady due to the lighting, but it tastes festive. It's the highlight of this meal. Eight more hours until we reach Singapore. About halfway there. Woohoo! We've got time to kill. On to the next movie. Sometimes our problems feel too big to handle, but looking at Earth from a distance, humanity is only a tiny speck in the universe. Are we the only ones out here? Or are there creatures on other planets? What do you think? In this fast-paced competitive world, it could be easy to overwork and set aside family and health. Seven Seeds is a Peruvian dramedy by director Daniel Rodriguez. I recommend it. Oh, two hours and 30 minutes left on our flight, which means we could squeeze in one last movie. So there's this Dutch film called The Longing. During this flight, I drank a 33 ounce bottle of water and refilled it. The window covers were lifted and daylight flooded into the plane. I just noticed that this folded table, when you slide this plastic, boom, it reveals a mirror. Everyone is eager to get some fresh air. 
Ah, these booths, they must be for business class passengers. Ooh, already feeling that Singapore heat and humidity. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned to find out what happened during the seven days in Singapore. Coming soon. Bye bye. Departure is 9.30 a.m. and I'm hungry. Breakfast consists of tomato, potato, green bean, olive, spiced salmon, and a half-boiled egg. As I prepare to eat, I hear a live performance of a song called No, Top 40 Hit. <laughs>